Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. In this video feature, we are going to assist uh, owner and owner of this avocado plant. They've been growing it indoors and outdoors, there and there, but mainly indoors. As a result of that, as you can see, the pots is here and you can see how far away the leaves are. It's because the plant have been trying to get sunlight while being indoors. So one of the best things I can suggest to you, if you'd like to grow like an avocado plant indoors, every day or every other day you have to put it in the sun and put it back in so that it can get accustomed with both the sunlight and the darkness. If it stays inside the house too long, it will grow tall as it is in need of sunlight. Further to that, you will see that, the, that it's very soft and it's bending easily. That is because the plant is focusing more on reaching out for sunlight rather than strengthening, strengthening the stem. So what we are going to do um, today is the 28th of um, June. Most likely you'll see this video somewhere about the 15th of July or maybe like the 7th to the 15th of July. What we are going to do, it's seven days before full moon, so we are going to cut the plant. So then that will allow the plant to send out a lot more leaves on the side, which will then develop into branches so that the plant will stay nice and short. Of course, if the land owners or the owners of this plant would like to place it back inside, they can, but they would have to leave it at least a month outside so that it will develop that thick leaf system, okay? So, of course, if you would like to try this out, don't forget, please, go ahead and follow what I'm doing. Remember, for plants to grow above ground or for your plants to send out plenty of leaves, please remember to do it seven days prior to full moon. Check your calendar in your area because we are closer to the equator, so I would check the calendar closer for the Caribbean. But if you're in somewhere like Russia, Australia, it might be different, okay? So consider the fact that you have to check the calendar based on your area for the full moon time. So full moon is in the, on the 5th of July, so we're going to have it done right now, okay? So come get a closer look as we go ahead and prune this. Now, one more thing, I would normally use a cutter. I don't have a cutter, but I also brought with me a scissors. It's fine, I can use a scissors because it's very soft. It's not a very tough plant. It is still soft, so I could go ahead and use the scissors. But of course, if you have or if you can, I would suggest that you use a plant cutter. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, so basically, we're gonna prune the tree right now. I can see here it has got one, two, three, four, five, and to go up potential branches. We want only five at least. So I'm going to cut it above the three um, new growth. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to cut it just above here. Of course, I will then follow up um, possibly the day or two after full moon to see what happened and to show you guys also, okay? Let's go ahead. Okay, guys, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna cut it right there, okay? Here we go. We did give it a cut now. So right now, what's gonna happen, the tree is gonna force out some leaves. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna force out leaves and branches. Usually if there's no sign of new leaves on the side, you ought to leave one or two leaves on top. But because there are signs of growth on the side, we know for sure as moon is coming up, it will be forcing out that branch and it will allow the plant to grow, okay? So of course, please be encouraged if you can or if you'd like to prune your plants so that it will send out a lot more leaves on the side. And then when it grows out, new leaves on the side, you can then transplant it into the ground. Or when it sends out new leaves on the side, they will develop into branches and then you prune it again so that you get thicker and thicker and wider, okay? So guys, here's the update on the avocado plant that we pruned. Um, it's officially 20 days since we've had this done. And of course, as you can see, I will give you a better view of it, but it's doing pretty well. It have sent out five new branches. So we've got one here, one here, and then the three main ones. That's one, two, three, four, five. So it sent out five new branches. And now if the owner of this plant continues to prune the plant, then it will grow out and open up even better. Um, I would suggest that she allows it to grow at least for the next six months and then prune it again to allow it to open up. But this is how easy it can be done. If you find that your plant looks dead, if it's too tall, if it's um, basically not been very productive and you would like it to grow better, it's always best that you prune it. And for leafy growth, please ensure that you prune it seven days before full moon. That will allow the plant to send out new branches as you can see. And of course, if you're transplanting a seedling or plant and you would like to ensure that it's well established in the ground, you should transplant it the night of full moon so that as the moon goes down, it sends out a lot more root growth so that it can establish itself even better. 
Of course, thank you so very much for your patience. Don't forget, guys, the backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. And agros, wait, is out.